Hello everybody, Languages Lover here and welcome back to my channel. With the success of my ASML collection series, I'm going to make another review series on the Lonely Planet phrasebook. So, just like last time, this is going to be determined by a spinning wheel. The order is going to be determined by a spinning wheel, that's what I meant. And the first one is actually Korean, so I hope you guys will find these this little series helpful, just like the ASML one. So. Stay tuned, but first, quick reminder, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell icon to get notified for every new video that I upload, and let's get started. So, the Korean one is the first one in the series. I'm going to take a look at the spine right here, and this is how the bag looks like. I bought the 5th edition, which was published in May 2012, and if we were to take a look at it, I'm gonna see some of the phrases in Korean. Like I said in my actual review of the series, they actually use some different sections. Like this one is practical shopping. So, holma yeyo, how much is it, for example? Because it's always useful to know how much the phrase, how much it costs whenever you go shopping, right? This is transport, for example. I've had an accident. Sagoga na soyo. And you always have these sort of phrases at the beginning, so Hanyong Asayo. For example, Gamsaham Nida Ne Anyo Chue Song Ham Nida. So yeah, it's very useful if you want to learn some phrases in Korean. I also mentioned in my video about my daily routine that sometimes I don't always feel like learning big sentences, so I always rely on the Lonely Planet phrase book to at least get some input to the language even though I don't necessarily feel like... For example, whenever I come back from work, and yesterday for example, well, I'm recording this on Sunday, so yesterday when I came back from work, it was a very big day, so I did not feel like necessarily going through a big language book, but I all at least made sure I actually get, got some input to the language, so, so yeah. And here over here we have beliefs and culture, so if we were just to take one, for example, is this a local or a national custom? Ichibang e kwansu bingayo, anguk chong che e kwansu sun bingayo. I did mention my ASMR Korean, that my Korean is not that great. But like I said, it is very good to learn some small phrases in Korean. Because, yeah. And you have, for example, food, eating out. I'm feeling drunk. Jo chi chui han got katai tayo. So yeah. And you also need, for example, always need to have some help from native speakers. For example, this is a dictionary. This is English to Korean, and this red part is Korean to English. For example, we have chamgin, which is locked. And chai mi om nun, which is boring. Korean is not boring though. This is a very nice language. So yeah. And just like the ASML ones, this little series will last about four minutes for a video. So you guys can actually get an idea of how much out of these books and what every single book looks like in a very short time span. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on the Korean book from uh, Lonely Planet. Yeah, not that smell. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more great content. And I'll see you next time with the Mandarin book. Bye.